On the pristine field of renovated Rice-Eccles Stadium, there's a thin line that divides the offense from the defense. In the 1990s, one coach was able to dance across that tightrope. His name? Coach Ron McBride, a hard-nosed offensive line coach. McBride knew his squad's road to success would be built on the defensive side of the line of scrimmage. With this renewed focus, Utah football began the arduous journey back to the proud heritage of the early years. Two conference championships and five bowl games, including the unforgettable 1994 Freedom Bowl win over Arizona's famed Desert Swarm, bore proof that defense was indeed the way forward. The journey picked up momentum with a top 10 national ranking and Utah's first win over Laval's Cougars in their stadium since 1971. With one miraculous 55-yard kick off the foot of Chris Jurgensen, the scoreboard read 34-31. And to prove it wasn't a fluke, the team repeated the victory the next season, 34-31. On the shoulders of future NFL greats Luther Allis, Kevin Dyson, running backs Jamal and Mike Anderson, and a strengthened Polynesian pipeline featuring names like Mokofisi, Kafusi, and Fuamatu Mahafala. Balance had been restored and was beginning to tip back in favor of the men in red. What came next? Fasten your seatbelts. This is Utah football.